I want to bring in my guest today. He is the past president of the American College of Cardiology and the current chief of the Division of Cardiology of Rush Medical Center in Chicago, Dr. Kim Williams. Thanks for joining me. As I understand it, cardiac disease is America's number one killer. Is that right? Someone dies every 40 seconds? It's been the number one killer since 1918, which was the last pandemic. There's the um, mm -hmm. flu epidemic that took out 675,000 Americans. So the 600 or so thousand Americans that die from heart disease a year um, was a little less than that. By 1919, even though that pandemic lasted for three years in the United States, by 1919, heart disease was number one again mm -hmm. and ever since. Well, now it's relevant because it turns out that um, every piece of research that's done, you've got a handful of things that are not cardiovascular, such as smokers with pre-existing um, lung disease, but mainly it's the cardiac risk that puts people in trouble. The obesity, hypertension, diabetes, mm -hmm. uh, high cholesterol. We were sort of shocked three weeks ago when it turns out that um, the blood of people with high cholesterol is a, is a good uh, sort of place for the virus to um, replenish itself and to... to uh, oh. And it turns out that fat cells are their preferred place to be. And then the overweight person or the obese person has much higher viral loads. What does diabetes do? Well, it actually uh, it is occurring in a lot of people who are overweight, so they have more viral, high viral levels, and the diabetes sort of impairs your immune system. We've known that for years, that diabetes are more susceptible to infections in the toe or whatever. Um, it's, it's a tough place to be if your blood sugar is high, your white cells don't work very well. Now, as it turns out that, um, that high blood pressure actually puts people in more trouble with coronavirus, and that may be because it actually damages blood cell or blood vessels. And sure enough, the coronavirus can attack blood vessels and get a so-called vasculitis or inflammation in the blood vessels. The best answer, if those are the four things that we could do something about, obesity, diabetes, hypertension, and, and um, uh, high cholesterol, change to a whole food plant-based diet. Singing my song. Yeah, do it today. And so by next week, you'll be lighter, okay? Your blood sugar will be better, your blood pressure will have come down, and you will have a better shot if you do get exposed. And, you know, at some point we're all gonna be exposed. The question is, you know, what's going to happen when we do? How sick are we going to get? Now, can I talk about the other side just for a moment? Go ahead, it's your well, show. We have a whole lot of people who are plant-based saying that they can't get the disease. And if you look at the basic science of, of um, vegan diet, it is true that your immune system is stronger when you do plants. The amount of inflammatory uh, markers in your bloodstream are lower. Your blood pressure, your cholesterol, all of these things are substantially better. But that doesn't mean you can't spread it to somebody else, okay? So let's please all do the social distancing, all do the masking, 